Many times I felt like literally like it's talking to me. I remember I was in university already, first university, and I, I met Kamal again. He was in the library, and at that time they didn't, like the internet was only on specific places. He was watching a, a video about death, and it was a nasheed by Ahmed Bukhati, Less Breath. It was a little animation. It talks about death, and I saw it, and I, again, it hit me so hard that what if I'm going to die tomorrow? What am I delaying? By the way, by this time I'm already reading Quran every night, one page, very excited. Like I remember it was like my, it was my, uh, my habit. I would just read a little bit each, each night, but I felt like it was a debate between me and the Quran. Like I have all these questions, then I'm reading that page, like the answer's coming. It's like, I'm, a I'm asking more questions in my mind, I'm talking, no. And then phew, next is the answer again. Yeah, and then I go back home, you know, I can't wait. I need Lord Quran is right next to my bed, you know. And I'm just reading and it's like this fight almost, you know. And many times I felt like literally, like it's talking to me. I know people are like, what the heck? But literally like I'll pick it up and this is my whole day, there's something in my mind, you know, it's like I'm thinking about this question and shh, I open it, boom, right there. The answer is right there. And the feeling that you get, you know, it's like, what's going on? You're like, Allah's watching, Allah is talking. That's why some of the said, if you want to talk to Allah, make dua. If you want Allah to talk to you, read the Quran.